Hey everybody, Ryan here coming at you with my daily vlog for today. Thank you for clicking on my daily vlog channel, much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed the channel so far since I've been doing it the past, what is this, the 39th video? It's crazy. Didn't actually think I was going get to get it this far. Um, thank you guys so much for all the comments for every video and your support. Kind of got You guys are blowing me away with your support and you guys are just awesome. If you have any questions that you want me to talk about in a video, when you leave a comment, make sure you say, hey, maybe on the next uh, daily vlog or the next, you know, daily vlog or whatever, you can answer this question for me. I could, I could do questions like that. I could do, you know, a little Q&A segment in different parts of the videos if you want. Um, how about this? If From here on out, if you want, I'm going to mention in the videos if you want to leave any questions for me to answer in the pre next video, uh, just leave the question in the comments and if you're watching this through Facebook and you don't have a YouTube account you could always just send me a private message or a Facebook comment of your question and I will answer it in the next vlog um, you know because people have been asking usually ask me questions in every every single video but you know some of them I could actually answer not only in the comment section but I could actually answer in a video while I'm going to do what I'm going to do eventually um i think it'd be awesome to you know dedicate a little portion of each video to questions and answers and um in a very you know interactive kind of way but you know i'm not you know big youtuber in terms of vlogging and you know a daily vlog thing i'm not big like that to where you know i expect like video clips from people every day but um I want to answer questions from you guys anyways. Whatever you have, um, of course, the only questions are the questions I don't answer are like the ones that are like really, really private. I'm always private about, you know, what I, where, ex where exactly I live, what work I do, stuff like that. Um, you know, I always, I try to be as personable as possible and I think I've been very open and transparent the entire um, time I've been on YouTube. But there's still stuff I save for me, and I keep for me because of for privacy-related issues. Um, so yeah, but you could you could really ask whatever. You know, don't be afraid to ask me anything. If it's something I won't answer, I'm like, hey, uh, well, sorry, a uh, little bit too personal. Um, but you know, don't be afraid to answer me or ask me anything because you know I'm very open in terms of my struggles and stuff. Uh, you know, the depression stuff, the anxiety stuff. Um, I'm very open with the films that I love. I'm pretty open. There's just some stuff, you know, I just, you know, I don't talk about where I work, all that kind of stuff. I keep all that stuff, you know, private, you know, on social media and everything. But, um, yeah, so I'm actually just sitting in the car now on my break, thinking about some future video ideas. Um, for my main channel, I have the video ideas already hatched out. I already have two videos filmed for my main channel. I just want to get something up first, so I haven't uploaded those yet. Um, I got a couple unboxings. I got two unpack like unboxing videos from packages from close friends of mine. I have an update, and I have a couple other little videos like a Jamaica in Blu-ray, you know, um, showcase. That's filmed. I'm just not uploading it yet until I do. There's a video I want to do. To just kind of basically a channel update video for that channel to kind of give a heads up to everybody who watches that channel what I've been up to because I haven't uploaded anything on that channel since because I, I I plan on taking a break on that channel anyways but I started doing daily vlogs at the same time so when was it I think the last video I did was the Cape Canaveral video the Cape Canaveral video, I uploaded the same the same uh, video that I uploaded on, my, on this channel when I went to Cape, you know, Kennedy Space Center. I uploaded the same video on my main channel to give kind of people an idea of what I do on this channel. Before that, I think I did a couple announcement videos for this channel, but I had planned on taking a break from that channel anyways because I was kind of burned out for some personal stuff. And then I, pas I very passionately engaged in this daily vlog channel, which has been blowing me away. I'm 
it's a part of my life now. Like I can't imagine not doing a daily vlog every day because it is like my own little personal journal, if you think about it. So I, mean, I can't imagine stopping. You know, I can't, even if, you know, I got sick or something, I didn't feel like doing it. That's when those, there's gonna be the, some of those videos that may be 30 seconds to a minute long. There's going to be content every day. I'm addicted to getting that number, keeping that number growing. <laughs> um, you know, I cannot believe I'm I'm almost at over 40. That's a lot for like a daily vlog type. I don't even think I did 40 videos in my first year of YouTube on my main channel. Like that's crazy. And here I've done it in that amount of that amount of days. So I got some stuff on my main channel that I have planned, but I'm talking about with this channel. Um, I do plan on going to Norman Film Studios. Um, some of the plans I had for a little documentary for that haven't really been panning out. I've been, I've been reaching out to people, and it just seems that between me and some represent not representatives, but some people affiliated with that place, we just can't get our schedules aligned. And so I may just go ahead and do the video, but without some things that I was going to try to do. Um, but either way, I plan on going there to show you guys because you could go out, you know, drive to the property and see it. You just can't, like, go inside the buildings and stuff. And even then I could upload, you know, superimpose a picture over, you know, do an overlay picture of the inside of the place way back in the day. Norman Film Studios. I plan on going to, um, going to the beach you know, here where I live, because it was only a few miles south from where I grew up, where um, Nazi spies, you know, made landfall on the Florida coast in 1945, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was 1945 or 1944. Um, 1944. But then again, it may have been 1943. I forgot exactly when, but I wanted to do a video on that kind of like you know location type videos for these daily vlogs where I travel out to these places been just getting in the swing of doing these daily vlogs and getting in the swing of doing the doing them almost most of the ones when I'm not at work are pretty much regular out and about videos that are just mixed in with you know a regular vlog that I would do so now that I'm used to doing these vlogs used to editing them on my phone all that stuff it's like you know just an instinct for me I could do that kind of stuff quick, go to interesting places, and that's what I plan to do. And um, um, I'm off tomorrow, then I work for five or six days, five or six days, and then after that, I'm off for six days. So I plan on doing some stuff during that time period. And uh, what is this, eight minutes? Yeah, I mean, I'm doing a vlog sitting in my car on my break. I got to go back inside pretty soon. But I'm not finishing the vlog here because I got some, you know, I'm going to do some vlogging tonight. Tonight, too. Um, so, is everybody enjoying this channel so far? I've asked everybody, because I like asking questions from time to time. I asked the question of what brought you to my channel, what you, you know, what you like, well, I don't know if that's what you like about the channel. If you just want to tell me what you like about this kind of channel, let me know. Um, I already know, you know, for the most part, everybody who answered about how you found me, mainly through my main channel and stuff like that. I may have some people that have found me through, or like, through Twitter and social media and just stumbling upon daily vlogs. Um, but how do, you, how do you like my channel so far? Is it something that you think you could watch um, for many days more, you know, because I plan on going, you know, at least until the end of the year. Um, I just can't, I just can't imagine stopping at this point. It's so fun and so easy to do. It's, it's really pointless. And I've done it. I've been, I've done these videos when I absolutely had no motivation whatsoever. I started this channel when I was going through a dry spell with my main channel in terms of inspiration and motivation. If I could do it during that time period, this is this channel has been like, I look at this channel as something that I did instead of sitting down and not doing nothing and pouting like I've done in the past about, you know, being bored in terms of being inspired about doing something. I get kind of lazy and uh, complacent and stuff like that. You know, you've heard me talk about it on my main channel before. Other YouTubers talk about the same thing. 
sometimes it's hard being consistent. And I looked at my track record and there's been some things that I haven't been consistent about. When I started getting down again, I was you know thinking about taking a break from my main channel, which I've done. It's been a little hard to motivate myself to get back into it, but I can't think of it like that. I gotta, you know, I, and I finally, you know, filmed some videos, so I just gotta do it and get one video up before I can put the other stuff up. Um, where am I going with this? Oh, during that time period when I was just like not motivated whatsoever, I told myself, hey, let's do a daily vlog channel. But that's because, you know, I was inspired by, um, you know, like one of my favorite YouTubers, Adam the Woo, to do these because. He, his daily vlogs were inspiring me and hearing him say, say why he does his and stuff like that, it really clicked with me. I've watched him for a few years, um, you know, like three years or so, but for some reason it finally just clicked. And now I'm doing the daily vlogs and I am so happy doing them. I mean, it's been, it's been awesome. Through these daily vlogs, I've been able to announce that I'm doing other creative stuff. My creativity is at an all-time high. I just haven't uploaded stuff on my main channel but that was because that was more of a planned break anyways because I needed kind of a break I was putting um you know I really wanted to do some stuff with my main channel the Ryan Cinematic Obsession series I love um but I think I just got kind of lazy because I wanted to make sure that they were the best quality they could be because I didn't want them to be like one cut one cut videos I wanted they were done in my opinion this I wanted to do multiple topics do it in like a style of like a 60 minutes kind of variety thing of having different stories different segments so I didn't ever want it to turn into me just doing one little video on something and calling it Ryan Cinematic Obsessions with that new series um you know I deleted the the Michael Mann Ryan Cinematic Obsessions episode that I did because I really wasn't it was right around the time period where I started getting kind of burnt out with that channel um, and needed a little break and so I deleted it because I wasn't happy with what I was saying and really how my appearance was I wasn't enthusiastic so I deleted the footage I'll eventually do it because I still have the thumb thumbnail saved may talk about the movies in a different way but I'm going to start fresh with that series you know in the coming weeks whenever I feel inspired to do it but um this daily vlog channel is kind of like my baby right now and um like with any baby or any puppy or anything like that you want to nourish that you want to you know if you you plant some seeds you want to you know water it and make you know the plant needs to grow i want to see the fruits of this channel in terms of not ne not necessarily like in views and stuff like that but i want to see the fruits of um this channel in terms of my my um happiness and my joy with sharing my love of life and things that I love with other people. That's what brings me joy. I said on Facebook last night, the only thing that means anything to me, the only thing that I have a dream of anymore is inspiring others, not with what I can do, not with stuff I'm doing. It's not like about me. I just mean inspiring others to look at life in a different way and appreciate themselves for who they are. So it's not like inspire others with what I do. It has nothing to do with that. It has, I, I was inspired to do this channel and I've had times where I've watched some videos from different people where they were talking about something and it struck a chord with me and I wanted to do what they were doing. Not exactly like what they were doing, but I'm talking about like get off off my butt and do that. Um, well, this video is actually turning into a longer video than I thought. Still gonna do a little vlogging later, anyways. So, but um, I want to inspire others, and um, that's my dream, and be a positive force. Gosh, I forgot exactly what I taught, what I wrote, but I wrote um, that's my dream, and money. You know, I don't care what. All I want to do in life is make a difference. That's what it is. Make an impact. Make a difference, even if it's in one person's life. That's. I don't want to. You know, I've talked about it before. I want to make a difference. I don't want to just get through the end of my... I don't want to get through life. I want to conquer it. And, you know, there's so much negativity out there. And I want to be somebody who is not a part of that. I don't want to be a part of that negativity. The older I've gotten... I mean, I'm still... In, I'm, you know, in my late 20s. I'm not old. I'm not saying I'm, like, old. But 
um, in the past 10 years, we all go through things in our life that kind of have to forces us to mature sometimes. I've been through some stuff in the past 10 years that has been, I felt like I was in hell itself. But I learned from all those situations and I grew and it was almost like, it's not that I'm not saying that I'm like wise, but there's some things like my battles with depression and anxiety, like somebody could come to me and talk to me about it and I could give them some good advice because I've lived through it and I still battle with it and I've learned how to deal with it through tools and um, that kind of stuff. But I just want to make a difference. So, yep, this is definitely a long in the car type. What is it? 16 minutes? Oh, wow. So, yeah, the first part of this video is going to be 16 minutes of me just talking. Um, so, I'm going to go back inside to work. i got to get some gas after work. Don't know what I'm going to watch yet this evening. Might play the Wii for a little bit. Who knows? Who knows what's going to go on. But I'm off tomorrow. So, thank you guys for letting me just vent all that stuff. And so, I don't, you know, I, and I wanted to really just say... I want to inspire others, but not necessarily with stuff that I do, because I think you can get caught up in like an ego kind of thing. And I think you need to have an ego to battle your self-esteem and battle thoughts of, um, you know, worthlessness and thought battle. You have to have, that's why we have egos, but you can't have one out of control. And so I wanted to say, I want to be an inspiration to others, but not because of stuff that I'm doing in terms of like doing. Like, I don't, I don't, I think it'd be, we I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't want to feel half, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm definitely flattered if people start, you know, if they make, like some people have done daily vlogs because they've watched me and they've told me, you know, I'm, you've inspired me to do that. That's awesome. That is, um, that alone is awesome and it's flattering. But I, and I'm sure, some, you know, people that, are, I'm sure this is just an issue that I have. It's hard for me to like say, I want to inspire people because of me. I'd rather inspire people for being a light maybe in their lives about, you know, certain... I like to help people and be positive force in people's lives. I'm always trying to be in, and have an open ear to people, let people talk, and if I can give some advice, I can. I I don't know. I It's almost like I've, I've always had an issue with, you know, Hey man, like in real life, like when I've made videos for, I mean in real life, when I've made videos for people, when I've done weddings, that kind of thing, people have been like, man, you did such a great job on that video. I've always been hard on compliments. I'm not really good at taking compliments. I say, hey man, thank you so much. That means a lot. But in my mind, I'm thinking, like I've even said, I don't understand how people could listen to me every day. Like, so you got to have an ego to kind of battle those thoughts that I just voiced right there. And so, I don't know, I just... I don't want, I want my motive between, b behind me wanting to inspire people to be known as. It's not about me. You know, I'm in my car on my lunch break at work. I'm not like sitting with a tie on, that kind of thing, and trying to be like pretentious about it. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place with that kind of stuff. But, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. My mind's just been all over the place. I just want to be a positive force, and that's my dream is to make a difference. I could care less about ever making a million dollars. I could care less about ever making a living off of making YouTube videos. It'd be cool. But to me, the only, I just want to make a difference. That's it. I want to make an impact. So I'm going to get back to work and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody. Well, for the past hour or so, I've been watching Dog Day Afternoon on TCM. One of my favorite films. I own it in my library. But I'm watching it on TCM because tonight, I could really have watched the Blu-ray too, but tonight, for those of you who don't know, I have a Twitter. My Twitter link's down below, but I follow TCM, and they do live tweets, and I think it's like hashtag TCM party, and they do live tweets of movies, and there's people that um, work for TCM or represent them like social media-wise, and they do live tweets of trivia and it's really interactive you could tweet them and they tweet you back they retweet you all that kind of stuff so this is actually my first one participating in so i'm watching dog day afternoon now i'm on twitter i haven't posted anything or to them 
or anything like that. I'm just kind of seeing how it goes. But it's pretty awesome. They like tweet facts and all that kind of stuff the whole time. And so, yeah, this is like one of my, you know, all time favorite films. Al Pacino being like, you know, one of my favorite actors. Sidney Lumet is one of the greatest filmmakers, one of the most underrated filmmakers. People know his films, but they don't. Film buffs know his film, or no. <sighs> Movie lovers know his films. Film buffs know the name Sidney Lumet. You could go up to people and say, Hey, you've seen Dog Day Afternoon? They're like, Yeah. You've seen Serpico? Yeah. You've seen 12 Angry Men? Yeah. You've seen The Verdict or, you know, The Wiz? You've seen, you know, countless other films he's done. People will say, Yeah, I've seen it. And then you'll say, Have you seen a Sidney Lumet? Do you know. Have you seen a movie by Sidney Lumet? And they say, what movie has he done? Kind of, I mean, and Network is another one that's like one of my all-time favorite films. But, um, yeah, he's so underappreciated in terms of like mainstream, at least nowadays. So, yes, I'm watching Dog Day Afternoon. I'm about to have some yogurt. Um, got my water over there. I'm actually right now at the park in Dog Day Afternoon where Chris Sarandon's character is introduced. Brilliant performance by Chris Sarandon. Um, you know, this movie kind of has a com comedy drama feel at times, but it's more of like, holy crap, it's so outrageous that it's kind of comical, but it's not. But the acting in this film is so top-notch. Um, Chris Sarandon knocks it out of the park, got an Oscar nomination for it. Um, yeah, so I'll show a little clip. Yeah, so it's a brilliant film, brilliantly acted. John Cazale, gosh, what a guy. John Cazale, out of the five films he was in, they were all nominated for Best Picture. Three of them won Best Picture. You know, John Cazale, Fredo, you know, he was in The Godfather, The Godfather Part 2, Dog Day Afternoon, The Deer Hunter. So wait, so it was four. The, the... Oh, okay, so he was only in four movies, and three of them won Best Picture. But they were all nominated for Best Picture. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's just across the board. And then you got Charles Durning as the, um you know, the head detective in charge of the situation. And, you know, he plays, you know, classic, um, classic detective. You know, he's, he was also in The Sting, you know, with Paul Newman, Robert Redford, the George Roy Hill film. Um, yeah. And what's his name? Lance Hendrickson is also in this film. He plays a supporting, supporting character. Um, and then, you know, less than 10 years later, he was in a Terminator and then, you know, he's been in a bunch of, bunch of stuff. Uh, he was in Millennium. Remember that show? Millennium when it was on TV? I didn't really watch it because it, at the time because I was too young, but, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm watching Dog Day Afternoon and it is 11.05 at night. Alright guys, well I just got done watching Dog Day Afternoon. Amazing film as always. So, I'm going to go ahead and go. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Take care.